right. I need some help here. <laughs> <laughs> that was really stressful. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we have another mock test. Before we get started, please check out this video for my favorite tool for learner drivers. Hooray! So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. After watching some of the videos on the course, I felt really comfortable with the extra knowledge. Before I passed my driving test, I was really nervous. It really helped me have more confidence and I would take what I learned during the course into my lessons and really aid that. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the maneuvers and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something or you're just not grasping a certain topic then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today uh, we have Susie. And uh, guys, just to let you know, before we get started, the learners that turn up here, they haven't had any lessons with me, so I'm meeting Susie for the first time. And uh, she's come all the way from Leija. Yeah. yeah, so I've met her at the train station and um, yeah, she just wants me to assess her driving and find out whether she's uh, ready for a test or not, yeah, which she's got in a few weeks time, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. And uh, any of you that uh, want to take part in one of these mock tests, they're totally free because you um, allow me to film and upload them onto YouTube. All you need to do is uh, drop us a message on Instagram at DJ and Driving and um, yeah, we just uh, select people randomly. Okay, Susie, could you tell us a bit about your driving, please? So I've been, I started driving in November. Okay. Um, and I've had like two different instructors and my test is in a few weeks, yes. Good. So it hasn't been that long, yeah? No, not that long, okay, no. Cool. Um, do you feel you're, you're ready or almost ready for your test? Yeah, I feel, I'd, I'd like to think so, yeah. I've had about 20 hours with an instructor, Okay. something in, like that. Any areas in your driving which you don't feel too confident on? Uh, maybe like lane changing and maybe the park, the manoeuvres, the parking. Okay, have you covered all the manoeuvres? Yeah. Cool. Have you covered the show me, tell me questions yet? Um, yeah, some you of have. them, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, you know how it works um, in the videos, uh, like you've seen, if you do make any mistake here, yeah, I won't say anything during the test. Yeah, we'll okay. speak about that at the end of the test. But all for right. those of you who are watching, I will talk about any faults um, just before they happen. Yeah, Any serious faults will be in red text, any uh, normal driving faults will be in amber text. Okay, so... Um, before we get started, the tell me question, yeah, this is the question that the examiner will ask you at the start of your test and the show me question will do on the move, yeah. yeah. So could you tell me how you would um, check if your brakes are working before starting a journey? So you turn your ignition on and then once you've set off, the brake shouldn't feel spongy or slack Good. and your vehicle also shouldn't pull to one side. Perfect. Good. So whenever you're ready, if you could uh, move off for me. I'm going to start off by following the sat navia for the first few minutes. Yeah. And guys, um, Susie hasn't driven this car before. Uh, obviously, she hasn't driven in this area either. So um, yeah, it might take a few minutes to get used to. Yeah. Right. Now just turn it towards. Okay. Turn to start it, the yeah. car. You need to put the clutch pedal fully down in this one. Clutch down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. it. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Before moving off, Susie carries out good observations but forgets to release a handbrake. Okay, your handbrake still on, yeah? Okay, sorry. This is a closed junction, which means our view is quite restricted. Susie carries out good observations and makes sure it's safe before emerging out. Good. 
park up anywhere safe, please. To the left here, yeah? Yep. Okay. She parks up in a good position. Thank you. I move off when you're ready. Cool. When moving off from a park position, your final check should be the right blind spot, which is over the right shoulder. Susie doesn't do this observation. Oh. This road is uphill, and when moving off at these lights, I see many people stall. Susie shows good control when moving off and doesn't stall or roll back. Now the sat-nav instructs us to keep right. When following the sat-nav, it's important to know your distances. Our turn is still 800 yards away, which is quite a distance. Susie gets into the right-hand lane too soon. She built up speed quite well and didn't really prevent anyone from overtaking so this wasn't marked as a serious driving fault. Ahead. Keep right. When changing gear, Susie has a habit of looking down, and when doing this, she drifts slightly over into the left-hand lane. Luckily, there was no other vehicle next to us. Right. Turn right. She approaches this turn too fast, noticing situations earlier and approaching slower is something that Susie needs to work on. We do discuss this at the end of the test. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left. Yep. As she parks up here, Susie touches the curb. Thank you, and move off when you're ready, please. This time, she does check the right blind spot, but notice how there is a gap between the blind spot check and moving off. The check should be done just before moving off, as the situation could change. She should have checked here again. Coming up now is Susie's first serious driving fault. It was actually two faults, one after the other. Turn left. Now this is a steep uphill junction. The key is to have the correct speed and select the correct gear on approach. But she approaches too fast. Susie should have selected first gear on approach and used clutch control. And when moving off, she rushes off the clutch pedal and stalls. She doesn't realise that the car is off and in the end asks for help. Right, I need some help here. Okay, you need to restart the car. Restart that? Yeah. Did I stall? Yep. Okay. Okay, clutch pedal fully down, yeah? Yep. And press the brake, restart the car, turn the key. That's it. Okay. Now the car's on. You still need my help? When building up speed uphill, you should change gears later. Susie selects second gear too early, so struggles to build up speed and stalls again. Again, I had to help her out. 
Right, do I stall again? Just let gear one, just let gear one for me. Gear one, yeah? Yeah, the car's on this time, yeah. Okay, yep. and move off when you're ready. Okay, press the brake. Restart the car. Now the car's stalled. Okay, don't rush off the clutch. Bring the clutch up to the biting point. Okay. Hold it there. Okay, I've got it for you now. Okay. So restart the car for me. Take your uh, foot, feet off the pedals. Okay. Just accelerate for me gently, please. Okay. A bit more. A bit more acceleration. A bit more. Keep us, uh, keep going. A bit more gas first. A bit more gas. Now change gear. That's it. All yours again. Turn right. Then take the second right. Here now we are on another road which is slightly uphill. Again, Susie stalls and begins to roll back. There was a vehicle close behind, so I had to intervene. Okay. Okay, carry on when you're ready. Right, don't let the car roll back because there's another car quite close behind. Restart the car for me now. Okay. Okay, get the biting point. Yeah, I've got the brake for you. Hold it there. Tiny bit higher. That's to keep it there. Check it safe? Yep. Yep. A bit more gas first. And carry on. Okay. So what's happening there? You're rushing off the clutch a bit, yeah? Okay? okay. But if you do stall, don't let it roll back. Yeah. Okay? Use the brake to control it and then just hold the clutch like you did there. After okay. 100 yards, turn right. When passing parked vehicles, she leaves sufficient space. And if you could park up anywhere safe on the left, please. When parking up here, Susie goes onto the pavement. Yep. Okay, uh, move off when you're ready. And when moving off, she totally forgets to carry out any observations. She moves the car and then looks afterwards. Earlier on, we saw how Susie selected the right hand lane as soon as the sat nav instructed us to turn right. She does the same again, but this time it's really early, and I do mark this as a serious driving fault. Ahead, keep right. Before and during the gear change, notice how she drifts into the left hand lane. This is definitely something that Susie needs to work on. After 400 yards, turn right. Here she gets too close to the vehicle in front. Now when our lights turn red, Susie has to go because we are waiting in the middle and the lights to our left and right will turn green. She doesn't hesitate and makes a good decision to go.
We're coming up to two roundabouts and at both of the roundabouts we'll be turning right third exit. As we approach the first roundabout, she brakes too hard. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. She enters this roundabout well and carries out good mirror checks before exiting. But as she's checking the mirrors, she gets really close to the roundabout. You'll notice that I was about to go for the steering, but Susie reacted just in time. At the next roundabout, we are turning right again, so she could have stayed to the right and exited off in the right hand lane. Susie decides to exit onto the left hand lane, which isn't a problem. Now before changing lanes, Susie should check the centre and right mirrors. She does check the centre one, but doesn't check the right one. And because we had just exited off the previous roundabout and she had been checking her mirrors, I didn't mark this as a serious driving fault. We're turning right again here at the next roundabout. Okay. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. After entering the roundabout, she positions well and checks the correct mirrors before exiting. Go straight ahead, second exit, please. At this roundabout, Susie puts a clutch pedal down too early and approaches too fast. And if you could turn left. When turning left from a main road into a side road, you should always anticipate that there could be hazards as you turn into the new road, such as parked vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists. So you should approach with caution. But again, Susie approaches too fast. Now I'm going to ask Susie to do the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. She kind of struggles with this. Thank you, and we're going to do the reverse parking maneuver now, yeah, the parallel parking, so using this vehicle in front, let's pull up next to it, and then reverse park, leaving about a car space between the front of our car and front of that car, yeah? Okay. When moving off, she doesn't get the biting point, so rolls back. And again, she doesn't check the right blind spot before moving off. Is it just a yeah, the, yeah, there's yeah? a lever at the front, yeah. That's it. Okay. Susie steers the wrong way as she begins to reverse. Then a vehicle turns up behind and we are also on a hill. And I think all this got a bit too much for Susie. I did feel bad for her as it can sometimes get overwhelming. But that's the whole point of a mock test. As you'll see now, she did mess up the positioning and observations. And we talk about all of that in detail as soon as she finishes the manoeuvre. Shall I move for that car or...? Uh, no, it, it's fine. You it's can fine, yeah. restart the car though. Okay. Do you think we could do this somewhere else, not on the hill? I don't think I can do it with the hill being here. You know what? It's, if anything, it's easy on the hill. Just keep the clutch down. Just come on, uh, Just come, yeah, come off the brake and, and then use the brake again. Keep the clutch pedal fully down. Okay. Like, oh, that's it like that. Press the brake again. That's okay. it.
I'm on the curb. Yeah. Can I start again? Yeah. You want to sleep? It would be scared for me. Yeah. Get with you. Okay, stay, stay back to the left for me, don't worry. To the left. Not to the yet, yeah, this way. To the left. Yeah. A bit more. Stay more. Break, break, break. That's it. Keep it slow. Break a bit okay. more. That's it. Good. Continue reversing. Okay. Stay more to the left. Keep your foot on the brake. Yeah, that's it. Ease off the brake a bit. Mm -hmm. Stay more to the left. Stay more. This way. That's it. Continue reversing slowly. Keep the speed slow. Break a bit more. Good. Carry on. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. Now steer to the right. Break. Steer to the right. Ease off the brake a little bit. Keep steering. Steer to the right. Steer to the right. That's it. And carry on. Break a bit more. Steer more to the right. That's it. And continue reversing. Keep it slow. Slow it down. Slow it down. Carry on. Now we're going to end the test here. Let's talk about what just happened. That's that's fine. Just, um, you can secure the car. They handbrake a neutral. Right. right um, neutral uh, and handbrake. That's it. And switch off the engine for me. Okay. Like that, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And take out the key. And take a breather. <laughs> That was really stressful. <laughs> yeah, I could tell you were getting a bit stressed with that, yeah. Yeah. So um, I just um, um, came in and helped you out a little bit, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah, this is... Obviously, we're going to end the test here, yeah. But you know yeah. how you felt there? That that could easily be how you feel on the actual on test. On the actual test. Yeah, so you, you, you weren't comfortable about doing the manoeuvre on this hill. Yeah, no, I didn't, know. Yeah. I didn't know. yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I could, I could see you, you... You didn't really want to do it, yeah. So, um yeah, we're going to end the test here. I'm going to just talk about how you got on. Yeah. yeah. What do you think our main issue was? Um, hill starts and that manoeuvre. Yeah, hills. Yeah. Yeah, hills is one of your uh, one of your main main things. Yeah. Okay. So have you done many hills with your instructor on your lessons? Yeah, but not as big ones as I've done today. Yeah, definitely they're quite steep. Huh? So yeah. that's one thing you've got to um, go and practice. Okay. Yeah? Not just for your test. It's like... Um, Again, I've had learners come up to me who said, oh, on my test, my instructor said I'm not going to get any steep hills because there's not many around Here. Uh, around where the test centre is. That doesn't matter. Yeah, what happens what, what after you pass and you end up on a steep hill like you did today? What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. not just about getting through your test. Like anything that hasn't been covered properly, especially these kind of, like, I think hills is one of the most difficult topics yeah. in driving. Yeah. And um, yeah, once you thought that, that will obviously help you out massively. Yeah, it's it's not even about the stalling. Like the thing is, once you stalled, your reaction wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know when the car stalled on the hill. Yeah, um, yeah. obviously it's a different car. You can tell the car was off. Yeah, I, it had stalled. Uh, uh, a technique you can use. You know, if you look at the the dash, you know when the car stalls, the lights yeah. come on. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So w w when those lights are on, you can tell the the vehicles off. So you need to restart the car. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, and yeah. then um, if you do stall the once, just make sure you don't let the car roll back. Yeah, okay. press the foot brake. Use the handbrake if you have to. Take take a breather. We'll take a couple of seconds and then restart the car and yeah. try and move off without stalling. Yeah, but that's yeah. something you you definitely need to practice. Yet, like the hills. Yeah, it was it was all going okay, and that's where the the, the fault started. And then after that, it's like yeah, it just got just more faults started to creep in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, once you I think you you know when, on the on the first of when you knew you'd messed up. You're yeah, like, it yeah. just went downhill from there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just got stressed yeah. out. So I was like, yeah, now I've done that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what normally happens on a test. It's like, but I do normally say, you know, when you go for your test, yeah, yeah. at no point think, oh, I failed. But obviously, if the examiner has to step in and help you, then you know you have messed yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes you could do a fault. You might think, oh, I think I've, I've failed there. But it could just be a minor fault. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, hills. And the other thing. I'm not sure if you do this again on your lessons. Whenever you're changing it, you're looking down. 
Okay, yeah. Yeah, and you know when yeah. you're looking down, especially when we are at high speed, you're on a dual carriageway, and a few times you kept drifting to this lane. Okay. Yeah, and to the left a bit, and on the roundabouts, so when you're checking your mirrors, yeah, at one point, you'll see in the video, my hand was about to go like that, but you re you reacted just in time. You are yeah. about to hit the, the inside of the roundabout. Yeah. yeah. So when you're, when you're focusing on looking down at your gears, or looking in your mirrors, you're, you're losing control of your, okay. your positioning. Yeah. So you've got to make sure when you do, obviously you shouldn't be looking down at your gears. If you have a glance down at your mirror, at, at your gear here or there, it's not really a fault here. Okay. Yeah. But you shouldn't be doing it all the time. It, it might just be a be a habit. A lot yeah, of yeah, learners yeah. get into the habit because obviously when you first start learning to drive, everyone needs, everyone does try and look, look at the gears. Yeah. But it might just be a habit that's built up. So every time you change gears, try and focus looking ahead and changing your gears. Yeah. And, yeah. and then you won't be losing your positioning because on a dual carriageway, it happened um, twice on the same dual carriageway where we were in the right hand lane um, approaching to turn right at the lights and you were changing gear and the car was going into that lane luckily there was no one there but i still marked that as a serious fault okay yeah because you can't just drift into another lane yeah what if there was someone there yeah that could be quite dangerous yeah that's fine okay so that um and the other main thing you know when you're approaching um some of your turns really fast yeah and ahead when there's traffic building up you're just approaching it fast and we have that sharp braking at the end do the braking early then at okay. the end you should be easing off the brake a little bit just to smoothen it out but instead yeah. we're braking late you're another thing you're doing you're rushing for the clutch first yeah and then brake so, first then clutch yeah brake yeah. first slow down then go for the clutch so say if there's like uh, like we're on the dual carriage we're about 35 miles an hour yeah? yeah and there's traffic ahead yeah do you need to change your gear um to slow down no no just brake brake clutch down and as you're about to stop then select your gear what you do okay. you, you'll bring your clutch down first quickly going going for lower gears yeah but yeah. you don't really need to do all oh, right okay so just brake yeah. first and yeah then... and brake nice and early i'd rather you brake and be too early than too late okay. yeah so you're just rushing into situations and making making stuff a lot harder for yourself okay 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 so you know when i asked you to move off uh park up the one chair uh, yeah. you park slightly on the curb it was yeah. just a bit on the curb but then you came off it yeah then i asked you to move off yeah and that time there were hardly any observations that first time yeah yeah it wasn't i think that was the second or third time we, we moved off yeah um i asked you to uh, park up and then, then move off yeah yeah and you moved off then you look oh then you started checking after yeah, yeah i think you realized damn, i hardly, hardly had a look yeah. yeah so that was a serious fault for observations but yeah. you know when you're parked up yeah and we asked you to move off what's the final check you should do just as you move off do you know the bright blind spot yeah show me how to check that there, there you go yeah, there was hardly any of that. Okay. I think you did it the once, but that was too early as well. It should be done just as you're moving yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, and because that was a continuous thing, I did mark that as a serious. Okay. But but you got to see this for your observations and moving off just for that one move off that you did without hardly checking. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, the one thing we forgot to talk about was the manoeuvre. Yeah, I think you know how that went. <laughs> yeah, that went awful. I've never done it like on a hill yeah. at all. So yeah, you, you know Definitely if you, didn't practice yeah, that. you know if the road was downhill. And yeah. you had to reverse. It would have been a lot harder. Yeah, definitely. Yeah? But you know when it's uphill like this, yeah. If anything, yeah. it's easy. You don't even have to use the clutch. Yeah, you can yeah. keep the clutch down. You can just use the brake on and off. You're allowed okay. to do that. We yeah. still need to just select I just reverse. Didn't, yeah. I didn't. I just lost control of what I was doing. Sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. Cause yeah. yeah. And um, oh, again, you did um, uh, touch the curb. Yeah. It yeah. was slightly on it, and then we we started again. But you know, on, on that attempt when you did it, yeah. Yeah. Your observations, you're supposed to select your gear, check around and then reverse, yeah. And then when the car swings out, yeah, then you're supposed to... Um, check the right blind, right blind spot. spot. Yeah, but if like it was just too rushed. So frustrating because I know all this, I just like lost yeah, so yeah. much concentration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Um, I'm glad I've had like this experience though because I know what it's like when... Yeah, that, that's what these mock tests are for. Yeah, I yeah. don't want you to feel like too down about it. Yeah, there were a few mistakes there, but the main thing, approach stuff a lot slower. Yeah. yeah? And um, I'm not saying drive slow. Like, your build of a speed is good. Yeah. You know, when you're on a dual carriage, you enter a new road, you're not slow, sluggish like that. Yeah, that's yeah. good. But when, when there's a hazard ahead and you have to slow down or for a turn, slow, slow down, Ilya. Yeah. Okay, it'll just make things a lot easier. Hills, definitely, you can, you can easily sort that out within a couple of lessons. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, yeah, not looking down at the gear. Okay. That's another habit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, any questions? 
any positives like things like i just said you build above speed you passing park cars yeah mm -hmm. you, you've got all the basics there it's like if your test is in a few weeks time yeah the, the, like you could easily sort sort out the stuff that needs sorting out. Yeah. Yeah. So and just like the hills, the sort of built approach like, speed. Approach speed. So just going down gears. Yeah, you don't have to rush down gears either. Yeah. Yeah, just brake a bit sooner. Sat nav distances on the sat nav. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And like I said, looking down at the at the gears. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can easily sort this out. The the good thing is like. You've got the understanding, like you've said, yeah, I know, I know all this, but it's about doing it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. you've got the understanding. So just um, go and sort this out in a, in a few lessons mm -hmm. and all the best for your test. Thanks. Okay? Yeah. Okay, guys, um, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.